Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another After Effects tutorial, this time showing you how to make those photos talk like we did in Sony Vegas, except in After Effects, where it's completely automated and such a time saver. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating today. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new project, file new, new project, and this should look like your After Effects window. Hopefully. Next thing I'm going to do is find a photo that I can use for this. And of course I have this photo. You can always get really creative with this and bring it into Photoshop, separate layers, and add teeth behind the mouth or whatever you want to add behind the mouth. So I'm going to quickly drag this photo into our project window here. There's that. And then I'm going to drag in an audio file. It's a WAV file. Make sure you do not use MP3 files in After Effects. That'll save you a lot of problems in the near future. So that's the only two layers we're going to need here in After Effects to complete this project. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this JPEG image down into a new comp. And we're going to rename this first layer here. Hit enter on your keyboard. I'm going to rename it as face. Then I'm going to duplicate this. You can hit control D or edit duplicate. Phase two, we're going to rename this as mouth. Now in between the mouth, I want to add a black solid. So I'm going to go to layer, new, solid, make sure it's black, click OK, and then just drag this in between the mouth and the face. Now we can select the mouth layer, make sure it is selected, choose the pen tool, and we're going to mask out the mouth here. Yikes. All right, we don't want to get too close to this photo. And just use it like the pen tool in Photoshop. I think it's a lot easier than the uh, Sony Vegas pen tool. A lot more friendly. Hit Control Z if you make a mistake. And there we have the uh, screwed up looking mouth. Not that his mouth is screwed up. Just the mask kind of looks weird. Alright, so now I can go back to the selection tool. Zoom out and select the black solid and we can just resize this black solid bring it down zoom in some more bring this in and you can see it's behind the mouth we can even rotate it a little bit by hitting R and bringing up the rotation kinda of rotating it here and if you want you can leave a little bit of black in there make it look like he's ready to speak alright so now that that's done we can drag in our audio file right above all the other layers. And you notice this composition is about, what is it, three seconds long. We can always go into the composition, composition settings, and you can adjust the width and the height to how you want it to be, as well as the duration, which I'm going to set it to one second, since that's the length of the audio file. Everything looks good, click OK. And now we can actually hit LL on our keyboard to bring up the waveform just so we can see what's going on. And if you hold down control on your keyboard, you can scrub through and listen. Or you can even hit the period key to preview the entire audio. That's just a quick way to see the audio waveform. All right, so now what I want to do is actually right click this audio file, choose keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. That creates a new null object that contains layers that move according to the audio's waveform. So we can use an expression and move this mouth according to that audio amplitude. So in the audio amplitude, I'm going to open this up, go to effects, both channels, and you get the slider full of keyframes. Bring this up a little bit here. Now we can open up the position for the mouth. So I'm going to hit P and then I'm going to hold down alt and click the little stopwatch next to position. And then what I want to do is pick whip this position to the slider of the audio amplitude and now we get this little expression here what I want to do at the end of the expression after slider is hit space star space 10 then go down here and select the entire temp here type in position then add some brackets 0 and then erase this other temp space position more brackets and let's add a one inside that space plus space temp and that should do it so 
Let's preview it. All right, so you can see the black solid isn't really lined up with anything. So you can always go back into that black solid. Increase the size or even increase it a lot. And while it's selected, mask it out to the mouth really quickly. Just like that, so when he talks, it should line up better. See how that looks. Alright, so there you go. If the mouth moves too much, you can always go back into the mouth's position and into the expression and change this 10 to a lower number, maybe a 5. That was easy. That was easy. And you can see that his mouth uh, doesn't move as much, and you can even do it as a as a 2. That was easy. That was easy. All right. So there you have it. Automating mouth movement here in After Effects. And again, you can always get creative with this. Add some teeth behind his mouth, whatever you come up with. So I hope this helped. Remember, you can always follow me on Twitter at Rob's Productions. Visit the site robertsproductions.net. Like me on Facebook. If you have any questions or requests, go ahead and leave a comment below or follow the links in the description. And of course, you can always subscribe to this channel for free weekly tutorials just like this one. Again, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.